During the cell cycle, a cell grows, prepares for division, and then divides into two daughter cells, which each begin the cycle again. Chromosomes become visible, centrioles separate and take up positions on opposite sides attached to the fiber in the spindle. At the end, chromosomes coil more tightly, the nucleolus disappears, and the nuclear envelope breaks down. In this picture, you can see that happening in the center of the cell. Chromosomes line up across the center of the cell. Microtubules connect the center more of each chromosome to the two poles of the spindle. In anaphase, the centromers that join the sister chromatids, which then split again and become individual chromosomes, chromosomes move until they have separated into two groups near the poles of the spindles. Anaphase ends when the chromosomes stop moving. In this picture, you can see the two sister cells splitting. Chromosomes begin to disperse into a tangle of dense material. A nuclear envelope reforms around each cluster of chromosomes. The spindle begins to break apart and the nucleolus becomes visible in each daughter's nucleus. <laughs> Two nucleuses form as a result of mitosis with identical chromosomes that were formed in the cytoplasm of the single cell. The cytoplasm is divided between the two nucleuses. This occurs at the same time as telophase. The, the end!